My name is Peter Alexander Reyes. I was born in Prescott, Arizona, October 12, 1959. Yeah, I'm the old dude. Um, what can I say? This is for my posterity, my grandkids. I'm your grandpa. Yeah, remember that. I'll feed you sugar, I'll tell you stories about your parents, and you'll go home and you'll say, Dad, is this true? But here's my story that I need to relate to you. On 10, 12, excuse me, 10, 12, on the year 2012, I met a young lady named Melissa. Peter and I didn't know each other very long. We met where I worked and just passing in the halls, didn't really say much. And then he wound up working where my mom is now. I was moving in with Melissa and uh, I pulled my back. During that time, I got a disease called blood MRSA. It was in my back, I was complaining. I always had back problems. I'm a chef, so I'm on my feet a lot. And they sent me to the hospital. I spent a month at Banner Hospital in Mesa, Arizona. Come to find out he has septic MRSA and he got really sick. Had a 40% chance of living. So on February 14th, I proposed to him in the hospital at his bedside. And I told him that he couldn't give up because he was strong and he was a fighter and I needed him. I was in pretty bad shape. The doctor came in, took the MRSA out, realigned my back, gave me a new back, turned around. I had uh, testing in my arm for what they call flesh eating disease. Uh, really bad stuff. So I was negative on that. Spent a month in the hospital, came home. Spent seven days out, could not eat a, a thing. I weighed at one time 450 pounds. Yeah, I was a big guy. I was losing weight. I lost 100 pounds before my tragedy or accident happened. I stayed by his side for two months in the hospital. Seven surgeries and countless procedures. He's seen the pearly gates more than once. They found in my lungs darkness, so they figured I had it, something in my lungs. They uh, went in, took their x-rays, they had to operate, and soon they were worried about me not breathing, so they were going to put what they call a stent in me, in my neck, so I could breathe, or I was on a ventilator. I got ready to go. And the doctors told Melissa that send me to a place called hospice. That's where people go before they die. They sent me to, they told her I wasn't going to live through the operation. I was going to die either in the operating room or soon after they turned off the vent. The vent makes you breathe. I told her to send me to hospice. She looked at me and she told me. I'm not giving up on you that easy. You're not getting out of this relationship. I love you, and you're strong, and you'll pull through. So I said, let's go for it. Thumbs up. Took me in, they operated. They had me on a vent. As soon as they took me off, I started breathing on my own. I woke up, and I told her a story how I saw my grand, my dad, your great-grandfather, Cipriano Hernandez Pete Reyes, and I saw Melissa's son who died at age seven. My dad was a cripple. He was whole, sitting on his grand table with all my dead relatives. They're all whole and all Good, looking good. As uh, I was coming towards them between two doors, my dad in my head told me it was a my time. We need to go. Her son 
told me to go back to take care of his mom. It wasn't my time. God has you set for better things. God has a path for you. And I came back and I woke up. And being a chef, I was dreaming about cooking and food that needed to go in the oven. And she told me, honey, you're okay. You're gonna survive. In a week, I was walking. Doctors didn't expect that. I was walking on my own with a walker. I was on oxygen. I had that. I spent a month of February and March in the hospital. Came out of that walking with a walker. Came out of that, and uh, one day uh, I I'm, was getting stronger. And I turned and I started using a cane and no oxygen in my mouth. And now I've lost 80 pounds and I'm feeling great. So this is just to tell you, I'm not a holy or a religious person, put it that way. I never was. I have three religions in my life. LDS, Catholicism, and Judaism. And the one thing I believe all three of us have in common is the Lord, God Almighty. And coming from somebody like me, I mean, your dad and mom and dad will tell you, I'm the daddy from hell. And if it wasn't for God, sending me an angel, and that's my wife, Melissa, I would have never survived. Always go with your gut. When you grow up, praise your, your, your family. And if you meet that special woman, don't let her go, no matter what it takes. Prove to her you are the man of her dreams. Alexander, I call him Alexander. You mean more to me than anything in the world. And I am so proud to be part of your family. Thank you for giving me a new lease on life. You'll be in my heart forever. And I love you. And it wouldn't be fitting if I didn't say this. And all of you out there will have to look this up by the time you see this. Chana Hu Ta. That's cling on for live long and prosper. God bless you all. Thank you.